Hello everyone, welcome to Angling Newsweek. I'm joined today by John Arthur, who is Group Editor of Max Fishing and Pole Fishing magazines. And I've got a few extra questions to go alongside the interview you can obviously see on the page. John, first of all, you've got a reputation for drawing reasonably good pegs, it's fair to say, in the match fishing world. I mean, you've even got an end peg number plate on your van now, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> what, do you um, what do you think the best peg you've ever drawn is? Well, as, as the name suggests, I've drawn loads of end pegs. So, uh, I mean, growing up in the club, ang as a club angler, he used to always call me end peg Arthur. So, I've got a reputation that goes back years and years. So, but some of my best pegs, I don't think they have actually been end pegs. So, um, I suppose the best the best peg I've ever drawn was the one that won me the um, Fisher qualifier at Viaduct, two hundred and fifty pounds. You wasn't a noted noted peg, though, was it? It wasn't a noted peg. It just everything was right. Everything was right on the day. There was a, well, there's um, there was a hundred and thirty peg match, and there was only five pegs taken out on the whole complex. So I had an angler either side, good anglers either side as well. And it was just one of those days where it just it just it was meant to be. Really, I'm Definitely. a big believer in that as well. So. I must stick up for you as well, and I've fished with this guy for some years now. It's fair to say he does get his fair share of bad ones as well, don't you, mate? Yeah, mm. I mean, end pegs are a, a blessing and a curse sometimes, because I've drawn some horrendous pegs that are end pegs as well. They're either, it's feast or famine, I always think. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, Work-wise, obviously, you're um, editor of, of Pole Fishing Magazine. You've worked on Match Fishing Magazine in the past, and you're group editor over both titles now. What do you consider your best feature to have been, or the most enjoyable feature for you? There's probably two or three that really stand out that I think, or well, you know, they were quite special. Um, one of them, um, well, we went to Italy mm. and um, spent a day, uh, well, a couple of days at the Colmic factory, and I met um, Jacopo Falsini, who's a, well, he's like to Italy what Will Raisin and Steve Ringer is over here, and he was amazing. And we went fishing with him, used his gear, and watched him fish. I, I've, I've, I really appreciate how good and angry he is. He, he wasn't catching. He wasn't catching. He was fishing for chub on a big boily river where there's chub and bar. We could see these fish, and he wasn't getting a bite on like an 08 hook length. So he scaled down to an 07 with a, a size 25 hook for for chub and bar, which was just unbelievable. I've never seen anyone go down so light. You know, and it, just just to do that was amazing. But he, that was a, and we went catfish fishing as well the, the second day and fed like a big bucket of ground bait, marzipan ground bait and um, sticky mag and red gravel. And it was a baller chuck on a 30 meter pole and clonk and catching all these great big uh, catfish and stuff. It was amazing fishing. And I, I don't think I'll ever get to experience something like that again, unless, unless we go to Italy again. So yeah. there was, there's one other feature I must say that I, I, I really enjoyed doing. And that was um, in the UK, it was called End of an Era. And um, it was with um, a guy called Dave Williams who's uh, a, a Bolton guy and he, he's the last of the commercial bloodworm and joker scrapers and I went up to visit him he took me in uh, well we went in, in a lake um, scraping bloodworm and then um, and then he showed me uh, well he took me to a sewer and I got him a chest waders and uh, and we got in the sewer and he was showing me how he scrapes joker and cleans it and and, the, and uh, there was also oh, it, was a, it was it was horrendous there's the smell in there I was retching and all sorts with condoms floating past and stuff, <laughs> it weren't nice. But that was a real, a real nice feature because he was such a nice guy and it, it was the last of a, last of a, it really was an end of an era. Definitely. I mean, another great thing about the job you're doing now, you get out on the bank with all the sort of best anglers mm -hmm. in the country. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, who's the best you've seen? Well, there's a few. I mean, I, uh, everyone says it, I think Deadship as a, as a UK angler on UK waters, I don't know anyone that can turn up and win on, on a frighteningly regular basis um, like Des can. He never, ever, ever seems to have a bad result. No. A bad result for him is halfway. But I've seen every other top angler I can think of has blown out. I've never seen Des ship blow out. He is, he is awesome. <laughs> I can vouch for that with mm. features I've done. He's scary at times, yeah, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, in your own fishing, the last sort of 12 months, um, a bit longer now, and you've been mainly focusing on commercial mm. fishing, haven't you? Mm. Um, how are you finding it? I mean, obviously you grew up on natural venues. So. Yeah, I mean, I cut my teeth on canals. Still like canals. Still, still. I mean, I really miss my canals this year, and I've missed fishing the Avon quite a lot this year as well. So you know, um, or well, this season, should I say? Um, so I'm going to do a bit more next season. I think going to hopefully go and fish Evesham a bit more. But canals, 
Canals are changing, so um, my Blood Women Joker circuit, I used to really enjoy, that seems to be changing. It just seems, the growth area, the area, all I want to do is learning fishing. Mm. And winter commercials, especially at the moment, there's, there's so much to learn, mm. and I'm absolutely loving it. Every week, I, you know, I'm coming back saying I've learned something. So, and as long as I'm learning, I'm happy. It doesn't matter where I fish. Yeah, you can't ask for more than that, can no. you, really? I mean, as a litter of pole fishing, you obviously get out on the bank with all the newest poles. Um, what's the best pole you've ever tested? You don't have to necessarily the most expensive, no. but the best? Um, well, we had a good margin pole uh, testing session yeah, that, that time. That, that was brilliant. And we, we tested some really good margin poles. And that was surprising how different and good some of those poles were. I mean, that the TriCast margin pole was, was just leaps and bounds, in my opinion. Uh, but it was so much more expensive than all the others. Yeah. Um, as far as normal, you know, uh, long poles go, I wouldn't necessarily say it's the best, but what they've done is the best, and that's the Zeiton Z12 from Browning. Just mm. because they've made everything so easy and straightforward and uh, all the extras, and I just wish every pole manufacturer would have a look and see what Browning are doing, because I just think they've, they've raised the bar mm -hmm. in terms of promoting poles and showing poles and, and for the, the punter to buy them and everything it's just just that's the way it should be going as far as I'm concerned definitely I mean people <coughs> it always makes me giggle when people say there's not much innovation in it anymore but if you think um, we started on pole fishing about three years ago at a similar sort of time didn't we and in that time we've seen pre elastic uh, pre bush top yeah. kits come in haven't we? we've yeah. seen puller kits really make an appearance across the whole range yeah. there's loads of things happening and mm -hmm. Do you think that'll continue? Or? Yeah, I, I think so. I, th I mean, there's, 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 there's so many. I mean, well, I've got we've got the diarrhea in at the moment, so I'm quite looking forward to going out with that and giving that a waggle. So there, there, there is, there is, there will be innovation. Mm. Um, and I think the main thing is, is the cheaper poles are getting so much better now. So the the latest MAP like six o one and the and the latest sensors ones that have just come in. They're just phenomenal for yeah. for the for the money Definitely. and the package they're coming with and that. So I wish I had something like that when I was going up. <laughs> yeah, did so for brilliant, aren't yeah. um, Lastly, John, what are your ambitions for this year? Um, well, I'm going to have a little go and match this and Fishermania like I always do. So I've not gone in for so many Fishermania tickets this year just because the match this qualifiers on the same dates have been so much, you know, they're nearer and. That, that's the one I'd like to get to actually mm. match this final. So, uh, and on a personal note, just just carry on fishing and enjoying the fishing, I suppose. No, that's brilliant. Well, all the best with it, and uh, thank you very much.